hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to start with the basic introduction of the tablet tool and moving forward on my youtube channel i am going to share a few important concepts of the tableau where i'll try to cover almost everything about the tableau visualization tool and how you can you know, learn the tableau so we'll try to come up with the practical examples so that you will get very good understanding of different tableau concepts so let's get started so if you could see my screen this is the basic tableau desktop version and uh, I will share the link into the description box where you can download the cracked version of the Tableau desktop software so that you will get rid out of you know, getting a renewal of Tableau public or Tableau desktop in every 40 days. So it is a lifetime and you can almost utilize all the features of Tableau. If you could see this screen on the left hand side you can see the connect panel and here you can literally connect with different local files like microsoft excel text json and all video files partial file statistical file and you can connect to the different servers like mysql oracle and there are plenty of other servers present in this crack version you can literally connect this with your desktop version and try to use it okay now we have some sample superstore data set which is saved by default into this tablet desktop version and you can directly access it in the middle area you can see the recent projects that you had opened or worked you can access recent files or recent projects and in the right hand side you can see discover panel where you can find the training videos and different tableau resources and all so tableau latest version is available 2022.4 you can update it from here but as this is a crack version i will not recommend you to do this with crack version okay so without wasting much time let me open the uh, sample superstore data which is by default available here so that we can check inside this tableau tool if you could see in the bottom left corner data source tab is there and in the data source tab i have just clicked over here if you could see here in the connection i can see sample super store microsoft excel file is connected in excel file we have different tabs like orders people return if you could see this and uh, you can use this to establish a relationship between the different tabs like orders and people i just tracked people into the work plan over here and you can sense that this is an inner joint performed by default if i click on this you will see the region from the orders is joined with the region from the people recognize this relationship and perform the inner joint over here cool but we don't need this we, we can cover this part later so i will remove for now in the lower side lower hub side of the work plane you can see the data preview like we have the different columns present under the orders if you could see here this is showing the data type like this is a text data this is a date this is a date this takes and all and all this is a geographical data 
likewise okay this is a bin this is a group this is hashtag like equal to hash is nothing but the calculated field equal to means it is calculated field next profit discount quantity this is a numerical data so that is the reason why it is shown as hashtag over here okay in upper left corner you can see we have connection live connection and uh, extract connection currently this is a live connection so if i make any change into the worksheet and hit a refresh button over here the data will be updated accordingly because this is a live connection okay in real projects also live connection work like that any change happen in backend data within a particular second or time frame the front end data get updated as per the backend data okay if you could see here in the left corner again we have filter option if i add a filter so it is showing me edit data source filter that means this is the data source filter okay i can add column and i can manage the things that i want to include or exclude like if i click on exclude united state from country will be excluded i will not make any change here so that kind of thing we can manage from the data source filter so that further whatever worksheet we create we will get the filtered data okay on the level of data source so here we can manage that filter now let's go to this sheet one here you can see we have the left panel over here the first one is showing me a uh, data and this is showing me the sample superstore so here i can see the data source i have connected with the tableau before that we have one ribbon over here you can see the tableau logo if i click on tableau logo i will again switch here on the front end side where i can connect with the data source and all for now it is not needed i will go back here this undo arrow you are already aware about like how this works like if i make any operations here and i want to go back to previous step i can undo save option add the new data source if i add the new data source i can quickly add a new data source over here okay now here i can pause or start or play with the live data i can auto update the worksheets as per the data change this is a refresh button this one is the new worksheet icon i can use this or this to create new worksheet next one is like duplicate worksheet delete clear sheet and as you know make interchange in row column ascending descending order highlight and all that thing so these are very standard features available next is dimension all the text data geographical data or categorical data fall under the dimension you can call it as a discrete kind of data which individually separate data nothing to do with continuous so dimensions type falls over the top side next one is the major all the numerical data which can be major we, we can aggregate will fall under the majors like discount profit and all that thing you can recognize it next we have set and parameter we will come to these points in future videos okay so this is the sheet number one if i click on the new worksheet i will get a new worksheet again i will get new worksheet second 
logo is of dashboard if i want to create any dashboard i can simply drag and drop the worksheets over here and create the dashboard next is a new story i can create a story lines for the different worksheet i create and i can share that with the users so this was the basic overview of the tableau desktop hope this was a pretty clear to you guys in the next video i will start with the basic concepts of the tableau till then subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you are facing any problem to implement any calculation into tableau do let me know in the comment section i will try to help you till then we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye